Hey everybody, this is Ku Impact with Let's Play Monkey Magic, and maybe we're at the end? Finally? This game is a much longer game than I anticipated. Honestly, I, I thought it was a shorter game than this. Beyond my own fuck-ups eating up a lot of time. There- it's been a long game. Wow, like for a PlayStation 1 game, this has a lot of runtime. Where do I go from here? Do I gotta go through here? Oh my god, I shrunk the platform. There we go. Yeah, I gotta go over here. Because there's the key. Oh, the monkey. <laughs> you know, it's the it's the most obvious joke and we haven't done it the whole time. So why not? 100%. 100%. Only seven fruit in that level. 100%. I guess I get to fight the guy now. I have all the keys. He gets to die a brutal and unjust death. Come out, Congo, and fight like the soldier you claim to be. Yeah, sure, I will. Yellow mold, like gold mode first. Hi, uh, Dick Cheese. Ow! What the fuck? Oh my God, his sword, stun lock. Why? Why does he get to have free real estate? Ow, stop. How do I hit him? I was hitting him earlier. Now I can't hit him. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, the pole doesn't work either. He's chip damaging me to dead. Wow, this is gay. Fake and gay. Come on. He's gonna kill me. I can't hit him again. What? He changed into a lance. Why do you get to do that? Can't switch to your Diablo set too. Stop. Oh, now he's got an axe. Please don't kill me with the axe. <laughs> Why is the axe's hitbox? Why is the axe's hitbox so high? Just fall over dead. Oh, he's gonna fucking kill me. Now give me the divine power. I did it. You are truly a powerful and noble warrior, Congo. You've won this battle, but fighting the celestial heavens is not the path to divine power. With your strength, what? magic, ultimate weapon, and immortality, you have had divine power within you all this time. But these powers must I be I used guess. Wisely. Their highest purpose is to fight our supreme enemy, Dearth Void. Go to him now. And use your powers. Dearth Void? Well, you're dead now, though. Oh, hey, look. Lives and magic and stuff that's not really necessary, but okay. And away we go. Oh, yeah. Now we get the Jet Cloud. Of course, after the guy's dead, we get the Jet Cloud. That makes only the most sense. What do you mean, Dearth Void? Wasn't that the guy who was helping me through the whole game? I mean, clearly he was the enemy, but... Is that how you spell Dearth Void? I was spelling it completely different wrong. Oh yeah, I'm sure, Dearth Void, I'm sure. Why is there, like, cyber techno music playing? Why are we in cyberpunk? There ain't no Keanu Reeves here. Oh, shut the fuck up, Batty. Nobody cares about you. Wait, what? I hit the switch and it did nothing. What? Power's off. Oh, okay. Whoa, lasers. What is this? Oh! I, I guess. What? That guy just fell into the laser and died. Okay, if you're gonna fly around up there, buddy. Oh, those are insta-death lasers. Um, even in gold mode. Well, this looks like it's gonna be problematic. I don't like this arena. Yeah. Yo! Yo! Please! The flashing! Seizure warning! Please! Seizure warning, please. Uh, everybody at this point, if you suffer from seizures, leave the video. I don't think this is gonna improve. 
The whole damn arena is full of... Why did the guys hit me and I flash? They don't do any damage to me. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna hit the switch and run. Uh, yeah, I do. I do think I can stop you. You've lived for a millennia, but I've lived for long enough to hit you with cannon. Oh, wow. He summoned a bunch of guys. What? Shrink magic? What? Ice magic? What? I don't even understand what just happened there. What, did, what, did, what just happened? The fucking arena suddenly had goddamn hazards? I gotta use my magic? Oh... Stop! I will kill you, I will destroy you, Dearth Void. Your name is spelled stupidly. I like how you can electrocute the picture of him and he's only a still image in the background. Please! Just kill them, Congo. They're in the way. Killing enemies is so hard. The hit detection is very lacking. Whoa! And they have the ability to knock you off your jet cloud and knock you down really far. Oh my god. I don't want to fall into death. Please! But if I'm not gold mode, I'll die. Please. Please stop. What? It spawned in more of them? Oh no. Alright, I'm on gold mode. Gold mode again. Then I gotta go fire. Where did this guy come from? Hey, shithead! Have fun being on fire! I gotta make sure that I fly through this with fire on so I don't fall to my dad. Whoa, 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 whoa! They have such knockback on their hits! Oh, I gotta be fire again. Oh, this is hard. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, I want nothing to do with that shit! Whoa, that guy got frozen. And that guy got shrunk. Oh, I hate this fight. This is just dumb. No! He unfroze. Freaking... Whoa, he got a... Did he get fuck obliterated into the ice? I have no idea what I'm gonna do. No, 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 no. I ran out of fire at the last minute! Oh! Now I gotta- I'm back to the beginning. I'm back at the start. Shut the fuck up. Oh! That's so cheap! Cheapest enemies in the game. Folks, right here at the end of the game, you see it now. The ads that are invincible and they basically murder me. Like, I gotta kill these ads because they pile up. Does ice kill them? Oh, what a fucking lucky shot. The problem is jet cloud physics sucks. It's like really bad to control this thing. No game feel. I, I have a lot of power too, Darth Void. Trust me. He's like that one dragon from, uh... <laughs> he's like that one dragon from Majesty, where he's like, I have lived a thousand years, and I will live for a thousand more. And then he comes up and he wrecks your castle. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. Will you... Will you fucking stop? He's gatekeeping. Gatekeeping? Oh, I can't fire magic and dig a hit because if I do, I fall automatically to the bottom. Like, depending on what you're doing when you get hit, like, affects Congo's physics. Okay, shrinking them is, like, not the way to go. Yeah, you kill them faster, but for fuck's sake, you cannot hit them. Like, I can't even shrink magic them anyways. Like, wow. I think maybe I should freeze them and use ice. That might be the way to go. Because gold mode fighting them is hard. Look at this. Yeah, I don't take any damage, but they get a hit off very fast, and I do not. They take also several hits. 
as you can see. Now he's dead. Four hits. Five hits. Probably five hits, to be honest. I think ice might be the way I need to go. But it's... I mean, I know if I knock them into the red zone, they auto-die, but it's risky. Because they can send you flying into the same red zone instantaneously. Look, it might look like I'm sucking up an ass storm here, but, like, it's actually really hard. Why Why was Batty just saying that? I think Batty broke for a second. Because he said, that's the key. Let's unlock the gate and get out of this dump. That's not the right voice line. Oh, yeah. No. Ice is the way to go. Ice fucking kills these guys in one hit. Now we put on our ice shoes. Oh, and I hit the wrong button. Well, at least it was the start of the fight, so, you know, it's nothing too serious. Holy shit! How is that even fair? When I don't have gold mode on, he just kills me in, like, one hit anyways. He obliterates me. Wow, this is frustrating. You gotta be on top of your shit, or in gold mode constantly. Neither of these two things are actually fun. Cause gold mode's not lasting as long anymore. Yeah, infinite magic is one thing, but gold mode should like last a little longer. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this lever and it's gonna summon a bunch of dickheads. If I fly over here before the barriers go up, do I... It seems like if I fly away from the switch while he's animating, I think I can get past the first barrier set without turning, like, wasting a, uh... Wasting a magic switch. What happens if I ignore the ads and just gunning for it? Like, look at this. Yeah, I get right through the first barrier. All right, now I need to use fire to get back. And now I use gold. Gold mode over. Okay, gold mode again. Hit the button. It summoned two more guys. Uh, uh, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, gold mode and then fire mode. And I should be able to run from this. And now I'm on fire, but I'm on gold mode. So I'm safe. I'm safe. Fire me again. I'm in gold mode. Oh, he kicked me and it was all he needed. One kick and I was dead. So this is kind of a strategy that works if you just ignore the ads. Like, fuck fighting these guys. Gold mode protects you. Just be on top of your magic switches and you're, like, good. I have to press triangle at all these points and on the ground to get them to proc. Yeah, I'm on fire. I agree, Congo. You're on fire. You just kind of coast around them. What the fuck? Get out of here. Unbelievable amounts of bullshit right there. What in the mother of fuck do I do at this part? What? What is going on? Holy shit, I have no idea what the hell was going on there. What? Whoa! Seizure warning! Hit the switch, Congo! 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 Oh, I can't look. I can't even look. What's going on? Save me! I'm stuck! Door stuck! Door stuck! You know you're a real piece of shit. I'll admit that much. That's a reference. I had to do the whole bit. What is this hell? I, I had to die. I couldn't get out. I could hit gold mode forever there, and it wasn't going to let me get out. 
The biggest dick sucking competition I've ever seen. You know, Duck Lips McGee over here. They spiral powered me to dead. Because they were stuck on each other. Alright, don't let them ever fuse their sprites together. You will die for it. Alright. I need to go on fire. Because there's ice, I think. Please, stop. Stop with your shenanigans. Alright, I broke a few ads. I needed to fight them. It didn't pay off. It never does. One kick will let you go to the bottom. I, I, I honestly am holding the button the whole time and he falls. Part of it is the X buttons don't seem to be holding inputs. And this is pissing me off that it isn't. It's definitely not the controller though. We've tested other controllers. They all drop X inputs. That's not even possible if it was the controller. The game just loses X inputs somewhere. Alright. I'm running out of time, though. Oh, what do I do? What's a coup impact to do here? I got 20 minute time limit, and I don't know if I can beat him within it. I don't want to make another video and it just be the credits, like me winning. But the... Here's the problem. The Dazzle has a set time limit. Meaning, I can't change the time limit once the record button has clicked yes. As soon as we confirm the record, I can't actually, you know, put a time limit on that. I almost died again in the stupidest way possible. Fucking hell. Come on, what are they fucking doing? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that guy, sure. Did you kill your friend, please? Alright. Alright. I think we've created enough safety buffer for this to not be too terrible. I am working hard enough. Man, you're the one hardly working. You're a picture in the background and your ads are killing me. Alright, get me out of this hell. Yeah, I want out. Please. Oh, please. Alright, run. Run, Congo! Run, Congo! You can just run through. Oh, there's another ice barrier. A freaking course there is. But I killed most of the ads over here, so it's not as bad. Alright, gold. Fire. Gold. Gold, 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 gold. Gold. Press triangle. We did it! Should be the end. Fuck. You. Dirt. Void. Stone Monkey does rule. Congo bongoed. We Congo bongoed him. Even though the game is like spazzing out. The Celestial Heavens. That's a pretty good score we got. Alright, speed it up. Divine power! Run lay in the monkeys, Congo saved them. Oh yeah, Congo saved everybody. What? Slime Lord? I guess that's like anime stuff. Funnily enough, the the second half of the series never got English dub, so we, we never actually do stop Darth Void. Like, Darth Void. Oh, shit, but the footage! The footage is coming to an end. How do we fix this? Uh, ah, uh, that's how we fix it. Yeah, it looked a little glitchy. We, uh, we're missing a couple minutes, a, a, a couple of frames of the credits. I apologize. So yeah, you might hear like a, like an audio glitch there and well, who knows? They'll touch it up in editing. <laughs> Post will fix it, I swear. You didn't miss much. It's just been screenshots of the locations of the game and this like really empowering music. Shout your name at the top of the mountain kind of stuff. This gives us an extension though.
I, okay, that's it. All right, fine. I know that the series didn't end, so what the fuck? Okay, gotcha. This has been Quinn Beck with uh, Let's Play Monkey Magic. Uh, our credits, uh, it, probably in the option menu, I'll be honest. Let's go check out them credits. Do, 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 do. This instrumental is badass. If you can find it yourself, I recommend ripping it for high quality. Let's go now, monkey magic. Kill on monkey. Monkey magic. Monkey is dead now. Monkey magic. Divine power. Where was the guardian? Where was Buddha? What the hell was this game? What was this game? I, I, all right, credit time. Let's go check out these credits. How is this song? What the fuck? Uh, Takashi Sakurai, uh, Chiori Suzuki, Masato Takeda. What the? B Factory. Yeah, B Factory. They're the guys who made this. You know the bees. The bees. Oh, 2D animators, 3D animators, you know. David Keegan. He's here. Where's the voice work? I want to see the voice work credits. Barbecue New York City. Barbecue NYC. Where's our voice talent? Oh, Susumu uh, Masu. Oh, I didn't keep it on there long enough. Damn it. So I control these credits, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit in a rush. I want to see the voice work. It's the it's the cool part. Domo recording. Oh, the ending mode was Kyotoshi by the, uh, from the album Gaia. And the opening song was Monkey Magic by Thomas Marlanda. Marlanda. <laughs> Kathleen Gills. Oh, oh yeah, recording studio Ocean Studios Vancouver. Ocean did record this. Sam Vincent, Richard Cox, Scott, Scott McNeil was in the game. And Kathleen Barr. Also, Paul Dobson was in here. But they don't tell you who they were featuring the voice of these. Well, Rochelle Greenwood, uh, I'm pretty sure she was the female monkey. It wasn't Kathleen, was it? It might have been. Harry Clanson, I've heard of him in things too, but I don't remember him as much as the other names. Yeah, this fits the, the summer aesthetic, you know, childhood. And, uh, whimsy, uh, uh, childhood memories and whimsy, that's what it was. Oh man, it's been so long since we started the block. Who can't even remember? Magic Pen Incorporated, also known as Music Pen. I wonder if I let the game sit like, for a while, it will play the intro title again. Like, the, the intro video. Actually, I, I'm still curious. I want to see the demo play the game. Because I think I was playing the game wrong. If we don't get the intro video and we get the demo, I'll end it after the demo. So, uh, but uh, one more loop through the title screen music because it's pretty good. You can't see it, but I'm dancing right now. Perry, 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 Dodge. Sorry, a a a that's a no straight roads thing. I'm, I, I am uh, addicted. <laughs> there we go. Let's see, uh, demo. Hey, it's the Celestial Heaven. What the hell? The screen got dark. What lightning bolts? What is this shit? The lightning bolts are destroying his health and there's like 50 more guys than usual. What? Did I beat the game wrong? Was there a better ending I could have got? Well, even if there was, it's over now. This has been Impact, and this has been Let's Play Monkey Magic. I'm signing off. See you next game. See you guys in Klonoa too, I guess. <laughs> no, we're not doing that tonight. Not tonight, Mr. Krabs.